in the, uh, the Oh! Huh. The like it is. It's the Kerrang! Podcast. How you doing? We are, I'm Tom. And I'm Andy. And we're from the Ghosts of Thousand. Hello. And you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. For Kerrang! <laughs> the Kerrang! podcast. It is July 2009 and I'm privileged to be sat on the rock and roll red sofa with two members of the Ghost of a Thousand. Aloha! Hello. Hello. Privileged. I like that. Yeah, Not enough course. people say that when they meet us. Well, you know, yeah. I, I could Disappointed pretend. usually comes to mind. <laughs> really? Wow. What is it? Do they I look a lot taller on film, yeah. Really? Yeah, they say I'm not sure. I guess it must be that stage being a bit higher than the floor thing. Possibly. Confuses yeah. people constantly. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Kerrang! Yeah. office. It's your first yeah. visit. Very nice. That's quite surprising, yeah. really. I don't think yeah, I mean, I think we, it's always been the cat and carrot that's been dangled, but mm-hmm. we've never quite taken it up. I think we just, we've never had time we've been up it before. But it's very nice, it's very sunny. I thought it was going to be in some kind of dank cellar with kind of like goblins Look, at the door. People and... slamming doors, that's <laughs> how punk rock it is. Um, <laughs> if, if Kerrang is the carrot, does that make you the donkeys? Possibly. Chasing the carrots across London town. Yeah. <laughs> just admitted it, words in your mouth. Uh, we're here to just have a little chat about the, the toy you just completed. Um, I've been reading your Twitter updates. Did you have a fun time? Yeah, we had an amazing time. I think me and Andy were talking about it on the train up there actually. Like, we just uh, never been on tour with such a nice bunch of people as well. So like minded spirits, I think, with sharks and computers, so that was very cool. Oh, the lovely they made, sharks. They made it so wonderful, I think. So. Okay, sharks are fellow Brighton dwellers. No, they're nearby. Lemmington. Lemmington. Oh, okay, completely got that one wrong. That's right, yeah. Um, and um, computers are from Exeter. Computers are from Exeter. Big fans of them here at Crown Magazine. A great bunch of guys and a great tour. However, there was a dull, sad point when you got sick. I've been reading your updates. I understand well, I, there were some I, troubles around this sort of area. Well, I only got sick when I got home. I, what made it so first? I came home really angry because I went to the doctors the day after I came back. And I had a really arrogant doctor, which was very upsetting. I was like, oh, it's nothing. I was like, just give me some antibiotics. He's like, well, it'll clear up in three weeks. Now, to me, if an infection is going to take three weeks to clear up on its own, mm-hmm. that's antibiotic time. He's yeah. having none of it. No? Like, it's not like I wouldn't have been paying for these things. So. Does he not understand how important it is that the Ghost of a Thousand are at tip top form 24 7? You could be asked to perform at any given moment, really. Drop of a hat. So, yeah. If, if someone makes a phone call yeah. with a. Okay. What would be the ideal phone call to receive in that case? Which would be the most amazing person you know, to, or band to find at the end of the phone going, Tom, Andy, get yourselves ready. You're going to Corfu. I think it, <laughs> I think it was Speedo phone. Definitely you come into Speedo, Corfu, isn't it? Yeah. Matter what you're coming to Corfu, not even to play a gig, just just to have a so holiday. Speedo from the Night Marches and Rocket from the Crypt rings up and says, He's like, I've booked a villa, yeah. I've got two spaces there. Yeah. Do you I fancy need- it? I need you to move some big drums of Dax wax for me. We do it. Be <laughs> we easy. do. We no would. Problem. I like the because idea of the streets of Corfu just being filled with big rolling tubs of Dax. <laughs> Speedo in a big boxes with... of cigars. Yeah. yeah. Cigars and Dax wax. Wow. God, I've got a brilliant image of some sort of strange sort of MTV cribs where it's Speedo on his island, like Richard Branson saying, hey. And we're hey. his guys. You yeah. know, like, everyone's like, yeah, these are, the, these are my gardener, and it's like someone really famous. Yeah, I think Although it would just be us. Richard so Branson has... Red Man, isn't it? And they go, oh, here's my gardener. Oh, it's Red Man and Method Man, and they're just mowing the lawn. Oh, Richard Branson, when he's like, here I am on my island, and Mariah Carey's just sort of lounging in a... I mean, you're the equivalent. You're the rock and roll Mariah Carey to Richard Branson speaking. You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Am I managed to call you Carrots, donkeys, and Mariah Carey. In one interview, yes, well done. Thanks it's all been so covered. Every, your little sheet can take all that off. It's all there. Insults done. New album. Let's talk about it. Great reaction. Yeah, very good reaction. Mm-hmm. We're really pleased. So, I think people think it's a bit weird, but really, like, in a yeah, good way. Like, kind of. Some say, people are just like, what the fuck is this? This isn't hardcore. Where are they from? I don't know. <laughs> from Boston. <laughs> They're always from Boston. Boston people. At okay. all. No, like, I don't know, some people just didn't expect it. Like, it is different. Yeah. It sounds a lot different. It's, but it's more a, a rock and roll record than it is like a punk rock record. But you'd want it to be different, surely. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're really proud of it. I mean, I think we worked so, like, ceaselessly to make sure that it was good and mm-hmm. it was different. Because like, I think that the, the one thing that we can do as a band is, like, devote time to writing songs. And I think we did that quite the same. Yeah. All right. Yeah, on a slightly serious note, I think we did an awesome job. Okay, and um, given how different it is in some people's eyes, especially Bostonians, yeah. another slamming door about to happen. Check. Um, how did it? How did the new songs kind of fit into the to the live set alongside the Fight Begins tracks? Actually, really well. I mean, we kind of. It, I think it's been nice because it means the whole pace of the set has changed slightly, so it's not just kind of. Because I mean, the first record was just so intense all the way through, and this one's got a more kind of space, and I think it's 
nice because it kind of now the set kind of crescendos as it sort of it starts off and then it kind of sort of gets more and more chaotic, which is good because it means everything kind of comes together in a new way. It's been a lot of fun actually. I think it's been yeah, we're playing for longer than we ever have done now as well. We're, we're approaching 45 minutes. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Imagine that. So it's excessive. I know. Reel it in. It felt excessive the first night. I thought I was going to die when we nearly fit, when we finished. But I think you sort of you, you break yourself in after a few shows, and then it's okay. So. Josh from Unit Six was telling me uh, that he's been going to the gym to prepare for the Kerrang Award show that they're doing. Is this something that you would consider uh, to prepare for your longer 45 minute sets? Just been eating a lot of curry and sitting on my arse. So. Good. <laughs> Um, but I don't live a very unhealthy lifestyle, you know. So the curry and arse sitting aside. Well, yeah, there is that, but my lungs are in good shape, you know. I wake up every morning feeling pretty good. You ready should to do. rock. So. You should do. You are blessed with a brilliant life. Fantastic musicians around you. A healthy throat. May, may I just add, gentlemen to boot as well, not just <laughs> fantastic musicians. Gentlemen. Okay, and great shoes. Thanks, mate. There we go. Thank you very much for chatting. That is the end of our little chin wag today. Sorry, right, thanks for. Are you I was welcome say back? Thanks for coming, but we came to you. So <laughs> thanks for letting us come to your office. I did walk from over there. It was a kind of meeting yeah. of minds. Thanks, thanks for, for giving us the opportunity to yeah. use public transport. It is one of my favourite. Keeps you grounded. Yeah. Wow. Good Thank time. you. Bye bye.